Keith, the cruelest of cruelest ways to lose a game in deep into stoppage time with uh, a controversial penalty? Maybe. I think the controversy as well was high up the pitch when the announcer was fouled and nothing was given. There was a couple of challenges that the referee allowed to you know, ride. And it, it's a, when a referee does that, sometimes they get it wrong and they're always catching up themselves. So referees make mistakes. There's not much to about that. Uh, I have to look back at the penalty decision, but... Uh, it's been costly because uh, you know we, we put an attacking side out, we scored the goals, but we look vulnerable defensively. I, I'm, I'm looking at key players today, and they should have been defending better than they have done today. And uh, that's unfortunately the, the recipe that you have. You know, when you're in a position where you, you score the goals, you concede them. You know, it's. You know, it's a difficult one to stomach because I thought a lot of the football, the attacking intent, the way that we, we probed, went in front, equalised as well. I thought there was good character on the pitch, a lot of good energy, a lot of good performances, you know, but some of the decision making with that energy, it's got to be more intelligence. And if we get the intelligence and the balance right, then we'll be okay. After twice taking the lead in that first half, how disappointing is it to concede so early in that second, second Three half? Three mistakes on the trot. You know, uh, lead to the goal, and it's as simple as that. You know, you're in the the red zone. The players are aware of the situation. There's more energy out on the pitch, and them are, them times in the games. Five minutes after half time, you clear your lines from kick off. You make sure you either keep possession, or you turn the opponents. Uh, we did neither. Uh, you know, and it's disappointing that we, we looked quite vulnerable and a little bit naive. You know, running out of position instead of like using our brains, that's the decision making. You know, we said that uh, before the game, it, you know, people would, you know, you've got to take away as much of the stress and the anxiety from the players as you possibly can. It, it's not, and it wasn't, a must win game, but you've got to show the appetite and you've got to show the desire that it's a not, you know, it's a must win game. You know, it, it wasn't that in a nutshell, oh, it's a six points, it's a must-win game. But we had to show the performance levels that it was, and I thought we did. But with that pressure, we have to show better decision-making, you know, from, from experienced players as well. You know, I, I thought going forward, midfield players, I thought they were excellent, you know, and, you know, the strikers, I thought they combined quite well, and we created a lot of energy, got down the sides over the top. You know, I thought the keeper made some good saves, the one from McKeel especially. You know, and uh, it's, sometimes it goes like that for you, but uh, I'm relatively pleased with a lot of the performance, but, you know, the key area of the pitch, central defenders, we should have done better tonight.